All right, what's up, guys? Um, I'm really gonna just quickly today. I'm gonna show you how to uh, boot your 2013 Nexus 7 tablet. I don't know if you can see that, or uh, really any Nexus device with um, or any Android device really with an unlocked bootloader. I'm gonna show you how to boot into TWRP without flashing recovery onto your device permanently. Uh, one of the benefits of this is that you can continue to receive over-the-air system updates with um, a rooted and custom device. So my Nexus is powered off and just got this recently. Beautiful tablet. I recommend it highly. Uh, <clears throat> you're going to want to download the Nexus file that is in the description. This will contain all of the necessary files, ADB and fastboot files. If you have these already set as system variables like I do, you do not need to download this file, but for this, uh, for all intents and purposes, um, I'm just gonna include it. And you're also going to need, to need to download the latest version of TWRP recovery for the Nexus 7. I've already done so. I've, you're gonna wanna put the recovery image into the same folder as the ADB and fastboot files. You can see it right there at the bottom. I renamed the file TWRP to make this a lot easier. Uh, you may see TWRP.IMG. If you do, uh, when you change the name of the file, make sure you leave the dot t the dot .IMG in there. If you don't see dot .IMG, but the icon looks like mine, you do not need to put the dot .IMG in. Just rename it TWRP and move on. Uh, so what we're gonna wanna do, we have our Nexus 7. Um, you're going to want to hold the volume down button and then press and hold the power button until the device turns on in fast boot mode. There we go. Once you see this screen, oh, Jesus. Once you see this screen, uh, you are in fast boot mode and you're ready to proceed. Now, before you can do this, you need to unlock your bootloader. As you can see, uh, or maybe you cannot, lock state says unlocked on mine because my bootloader is already unlocked. If you're not unlocked, you need to do that first. Um, if I have time, I will put up a video later on how to unlock the bootloader. Super easy, it's just one ADB command and it will wipe your device. So if you have not unlocked your bootloader, make sure you back up your device and then unlock it and then you can restore your backup but uh, basically unlocking the bootloader will 100% wipe everything off of here even the internal storage so uh, yeah so basically we have this it's in um, fast boot mode you're gonna go ahead and connect your micro USB cable I always 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 when doing stuff like this I always use the OEM cable that came with the device this is the one that came with my Nexus 7 so we're going to plug uh, that bad boy in. So there we go. Now we're plugged in. Now you need to go to your computer and you need to open a command prompt window. So I have command prompt right there. If you don't see command prompt there, down in this search, just type CMD and it will be the top result. So we open up the command prompt. Now you see I'm already at... Um, you know, C colon slash user slash my username and the, the folder where the ADB files and everything are are in a subdirectory of this folder called Nexus so I'm gonna type CD for change directory and then Nexus and then hit enter so now we're in the Nexus folder I wish this goddamn thing would focus as you can see we are in the Nexus folder now you have to make sure that the TWRP recovery image is in the same folder now we're going to want to type oops fastboot devices just to make sure that fastboot recognizes our device now you're going to see the serial number of your Nexus that's a good thing that means your device is in fastboot mode and you're ready to go now to boot into recovery without actually flashing it, you're going to type fast boot, boot, 
and then the name of the TWRP recovery image file. In my case, it's TWRP.I. Oops. Dot IMG. So that's it. Fast boot, boot, and then the name of the file. And you'll see the following. Now we go over to our device. And there we go. We're booting into TeamWin Recovery without actually installing it on the Nexus itself. So now, you this has all the same functionality as you would expect from TWRP, or you can also do this with a Clockwork Mod, uh, old school style, or a Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery. Either one, you just need that IMG file and you're good to go. Now you can do everything that you would expect to be able to do. Like for instance, if you have um, a flashable zip for super user and you don't already have a rooted device, you put that super user zip on your, on your uh, internal storage before you do this, before you boot into recovery. And then you can go into install and then find the zip. I, already, I actually have super users still on here. See I have, if your device was not rooted and you had the super user zip file on your Nexus before you did this, you could select that super user, swipe to flash, and you would have super user and root access and a rooted Nexus device. Uh, I don't need to do that. Obviously my Nexus is already rooted. Um, now <clears throat> I'll actually also show you really quickly if you do want to flash TWRP to your device, and I personally have it flashed to my device, in the event that uh, Google releases an update to uh, the Nexus, I'll just flash the stock recovery and get my OTA update and check it out <clears throat> if I choose that that's what I want to do. But uh, so go back and go into reboot, reboot back into the bootloader. You'll see the screen pop up again. We're going to go back to the command prompt. We're going to type fast boot devices to make sure oops to make sure that it finds it. There it is. Now if you want to flash that um, twerp recovery onto your device permanently, you're going to type God damn it. Fast boot Flash recovery TWRP dot IMG that's an H IMG or whatever you named it and then as soon as you hit enter oh, I missed the letter in fast boot so it's fast boot flash recovery twrp.img oops and then as soon as you hit enter it will flash twrp to your device um, I already have it flash eh, what the hell I'll hit enter anyway now you'll see it'll show you that okay okay writing recovery finished and there you go latest version of twrp flash to your device and just to show you that it worked because I'm that kind of guy. If you use the volume rockers, you go to recovery mode, hit the power button, it will reboot into recovery. You'll see your Google with your unlock. You have your unlocked bootloader, so now you have the little unlock padlock, and there it is. Now Team Wins Flash your device. So a couple cool things you can do. Uh, I would familiarize yourself with Fast Boot because as a Nexus owner, you can do a whole bunch of stuff through Fast Boot. Um, locking, unlocking the bootloader, uh, flashing a system image uh, back to your device if you want to go all the way back to stock. But So that's it for today, guys. <clears throat> uh, I'll have plenty more videos spotlighting all the cool shit you can do with this Nexus device. And, um, yeah, until we meet again, Sworn Leader, signing out.